Hi guys, Rhonda with Anna and H here with you today. Oh golly, it just feels like I've been absent for such a long time. I haven't had a chance to visit with you. And it just feels good to be back to chat with you and share with you what's going on. Um, I have recently finished this salvage journal. Midori style. Very simple though. Uh, made with a paper bags. So I just want to do a quick flip through to show you what I've been up to. And I hope you like it. Okay, so let's get started. I have stitched on some beautiful lavender sari ribbon. And of course, lavender and purples and blues selvages. I've also added a couple of rows of lace to my spine. All right. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, where would I be without sound effects, right? <laughs> and I can't talk without my hands. If I, if, sometimes my family, literally, I mean, I do talk with my hands. Sometimes my family will tease me and, and have me, or hold my hands. And I just, I can't get expressive. It's just like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> anyway, okay. So you can see that I have again used uh, brown paper bags. I have created a little pocket here in the front. Um, I've also uh, bound this particular one with the sari ribbon that I stitch on as a tie. It's also surrounding the whole thing, which I think is super cute. I love it. I hope you like it too. Okay, so what I have, a couple of little journals, and as I have shown you before, they come out so this is just a pretty scrap paper right here with some, um, uh, <laughs> with some washi tape. I don't know if it's too early in the morning or too late. I don't know. A little bit of lace that I have stitched down. So we'll just kind of go through this fairly quickly. Oh, don't you love the crinkle? <laughs> I'm a crinkle girl. Yes, I am. And a lot of these papers were taken from some old time books that I was able to find in a vintage store. And these are images from old patterns that I thought would just be fun to add. And of course, some of my uh, pattern paper that I've stitched into a ruffle and covered it with some lace. A little more crinkle. <laughs> anyway, okay. You get the idea, right? This is just, I, I love this. It's just the sweetest little, sweetest little book. Now we have to find the center. Okay. And then we just slip it in. Super easy. All right. Here is another one. And this is the... Um, uh, braille paper that I use. Oh, it gives such amazing texture, you guys. And this one I did differently. I just thought it would be fun. You have to get here a little bit. 
So this has brown paper. It has these are from some envelopes that I found that don't stick but they were rather large and so I could cut them up and they make an amazing journal pages. And then I even on some I printed so you've got lined paper and blank paper in this little gem. And I don't even know, let's see, should I count the pages? Well, this is the center. Oh, that's probably very tedious. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. There may have been around 24, uh, 24, 25 pages in here. So that gives you a hundred, you know, if you times the four, both sides, uh, and this, okay? Ooh, nice, okay. And then, let's see. With this, then what we want to do is, actually, we'll take this out and I'll show you. This is how I put them together, okay? I hook the two books like like so and then ta-da that's how you put two books in or little journals um, inserts whatever you want to call them all right moving right along I created another little notebook out of graph paper this one is just simply graph paper. And this has, oh golly, I don't know, a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty ish. That's stitched down the center. So you've got. 20 times 4, so you've got approximately 80 in this little booklet. And now let's move over and do this little gem. This tie is just made up of some sack, some feed sack. Um, I don't know if you can see the little writing on that or not. It's pretty faded, but it's just yummy so I like to use that okay so let's go ahead and we'll pop this one out and show you this has got just a view beautiful little piece of well two pieces of lace on the front to give it that yummy yummy so this one we have some vellum paper and we've got some beautifully printed on vellum. I picked up some vellum at, a, at a, my surplus store that I go to the college and printed some images that I had. I, I have the hope, depending upon my schedule, of at some point having an Etsy shop with some of my digital downloads that that I have created um, for my work and to share with you, but that's a, that's a down the road a little bit. I'm pretty busy, but we'll see. So this one, I have done some stamping, a uh, little bit of painting, washi tape, lace, just little just wonderful little additions of fabric and lace and paper and washi tape some little sayings here and there <laughs> yes that too
<laughs> I hope you like this one. I just, as I go through this and look at it again, I'm just like, oh, this is so sweet. It's just the sweetest ever. A little bit of watercolor, stamping, like I said, some some painting spraying some of the spray paints to give it the the added colors I don't I coffee dye and I love to coffee dye I don't drink it but I do love to dye um, papers with it but sometimes I like to use other things as well to get some different colorations in my papers some salvage okay kind of <laughs> you get the idea right I this is going too long so I want to kind of get it closed up here um, and then of course this goes in here and you have another sweet little pocket over here this to me is just I hope you like this, you guys, because this is me. This really is me in a nutshell. I love to combine papers. I love the colors, pinks and lavenders and purples. I love paper bags. I love deli papers and I love the crinkling and the different um, papers that I've used here, old vintage, some coffee dyed, some sprayed with paints, little pockets here and there, a sewing salvages. Oh my goodness. Just, I, I love it. And I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you'll be inspired to create something that just speaks to you, that just makes you happy. Um, Anyway, as you can see, I have been busy doing some fun things that I like. And I hope to um, do a couple more videos here in the near future of some other things that I've been working on. Uh, thank you, guys, for joining me. Until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye now.